Hi, I'm Scott Beck, Director of Beck's Hybrids Practical Farm Research Program. And we're here at our main facility today uh, where we're about to install a sub-irrigation tile drainage system that will allow us to not only drain this field but also to sub-irrigate it uh, with the tiles that are, will be installed every 15 feet following the contour of the field. And uh, with me today is Bob Miners. Bob is uh, the president of Agram Corporation and Agram is the company that uh, built the software and has the design uh, to enable us to do this. One of the things that's interesting about the tile drainage uh, sub-irrigation uh, plot that we're putting in here is the, the spacing and the depth. And Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Well, first of all, we're placing the spacing at 15 foot. The ladders will space 15 feet apart. And the reason for that is so that we can disperse the water when we're sub-irrigating very rapidly and not try to create an underground lake like the old sub-irrigation systems. Also, these laterals are at 15 foot spacings and they follow the contours. Now, as far as the drainage aspect, if you can imagine water percolating down a hill, at every 15 feet we intercept it with a lateral, we have the best drainage system in the world. We're also using what's called a three quarter inch coefficient. And what that means is the tile is sized so that we can remove three quarters of an inch of water, acre inches, in 24 hours. And usually the tiling systems that are going in today are at three-eighths inch. So you have a superior drainage system and you have the 15-foot spacing. Now why we went to 15-foot spacing is that also besides the percolation effect, uh, different soil types. Uh, we can't calculate in one field all the different percolation rates for sub-irrigation because you may have six or seven different soil types and they may be running all over the place. So we don't have to be concerned about soil types as much at 15 foot spacings versus like 20 and 30 feet, like the old sub-irrigation systems. Okay, and talk about the depth. That you're and the depth about. is at two feet. Number one is so that we can get the water quicker to the roots when we sub-irrigate. And the other problem is with older tile that's laid at three and four feet deep, if you can imagine all the nitrates that are in your soil, realizing that we do not want to send the nitrates downstream, we're going to remove less nitrates at two feet versus three to four. And University of Minnesota, Ohio State, uh, Michigan State have all proven this. So that's the main reasons why we do this. Uh, one of the main benefits is uh, we use about a third to half the amount of water of like pivot irrigation or flood irrigation. And we can also, with a closed loop system, control the nitrates, which are also a major problem uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, the hypoxia problem, which I'm sure you're familiar with. So we can use less water, control the nitrates, and we can increase yields. And hopefully Scott will prove us on that. So, yeah. so we have a, uh, it's a three acre test plot here. Half of it has the sub-irrigation tile drainage installed, and the other half doesn't. So we'll be checking yields over the next few years and uh, just seeing uh, how much we can improve yields. Appreciate it. Right. <laughs>